How's it going, everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today, I'm going to talk about something more fundamental, which is how to calculate interest. Being able to calculate simple interest as well as compound interest is very important in your financial future. You can use online calculators or whatnot, but it's also important to be able to do this on a fly with a calculator on your own. Now, let's start with a simple interest calculation. Let's say you owe the credit card $100 and the interest rate is 10% APR every year. You would normally go, okay, 10% is 0.1. So you go $100 times 0.1 is $10 of interest. And then people would normally add this $10 back to the principal. So you have to go 100 plus 10 is $110 that you finally do owe. A quick shortcut, and you can do this with tax as well, is do whatever interest that is plus one. The plus one part takes into account the original principal. So you can do something like $100 times 1.1, which is 110%. You do one multiplication and you get $110, which is what you owe finally. Now, most credit card companies is not gonna charge you just one time 10% uh, in one single month. What they do is divide this across the whole year. So let's say their APR is instead, let's say 12% to make things easy because this APR is indicated in a per year basis. They want to charge you for one single month. So what you would do is take this 12% divided by 12, which is 1%. Then let's say you owe the credit card $100 that month then you will multiply it by 1.01. Then your final bill, if your APR was 12%, would be $101. Now your credit card bill is not gonna be as simple as this. Sometimes you might be spending more throughout the month and maybe throughout the month you might make a few payments even. So in the end, it's gonna be the average balance across that billing period that they factor in to calculate your interest. So let's say half of the month you owe them $100. The second half you spend another $100 and you owe them $200. So the average balance of that would be $150 for that whole month. And then you multiply that by 1.01, which is $151.50. Now let's move on to how to calculate compound interest very quickly without adding additional principal along the way. Knowing how to do this is kind of important to just kind of have a rough figure how much money you would owe in the future for a certain balance that you're holding. For example, let's say you owe a student loan of $10,000 and then the APR on it is, let's say 6%. You wanna figure out at the end of the year, let's say you don't add any more principal into it or you're not under repayment plans, how much would this $10,000 balloon to at the end of one year? If this student loan calculates on a per monthly basis, and in my experience, a lot of loans do calculate it on a per monthly basis. Forget about all of that in math where they go, oh, compound it every single day or compound it continuously. For one, compound continuously is not going to be very different from compounding every single day there might be a slight difference to compounding it every month so how do you exactly do this you take the interest rate six percent divide it by 12 which is 12 months of the year you realize six percent divided by 12 is only 0.5 percent if you do this every single month 0.5 percent 0.5 percent and then you add it all up of course it's six percent altogether but what you want to do here is you want to charge interest on that loan amount in addition to the additional amount that's added to it. So this is where exponents come in. So half a percent is really 0 0.005. You can't just take that and raise it to the 12 power because it's gonna get smaller and smaller. What you need to do is one, plus 0 0.005, and then you take that to the 12th power. When you do this, this whole lump number and you multiply it by 10,000 will get you the end result of how much that total amount you're gonna owe at the end, compounding it. Now, it's easy to think of it this way once you know the trick to it. If you wanna compound it every single day, sure, go ahead, divide it by 365. If you wanna take into leap years and stuff, sure, then you can go 6% divided by 365.25 or something like that. So using this compounding method is very useful for everyday finance calculations. Oftentimes I would quote that you get about an 8% return on your investment average over a long time. Sometimes you wanna figure out after let's say 10 years, how much will you have if you start with a certain principle? So what you would do is, let's say you start with $10,000, 8% return. So you go 1.08 to the power of 10. Voila, if you multiply all this together, then you're gonna get your projected final value of your portfolio. So thanks for watching this video. I know this is dead simple, but I had a few requests on how to exactly do this and maybe tricks, tips and tricks on how. If you're interested in supporting this channel, check out my Audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook. And if you don't like this audiobook or this service, you can cancel it before the subscription expires and you can still keep this audiobook for free and help benefit this channel. I also have my Honey Badger Infinite Vacation t-shirt sale going on still. That's also in the video description below. Patreon over here, if you're uncomfortable posting public comments, you can go in there and send me messages and it won't show up anywhere. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel over here and click that bell icon next to that subscribe button so that you get a new notification whenever I upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching.